Hey everyone, I'm back for more. The last video I uploaded was actually originally recorded on a Saturday, last Saturday specifically, but the call or, but the internet at my college decided to implode upon itself, and the video ended up not being uploaded for a couple of days until it was fixed. Because of that, I kind of lost a little bit of motivation, but now that my first weekend is it, I'm back and ready to do some more. So here's question two. You're driving in a car and you see a sign that says Memphis is 7 miles or 11.263 kilometers away. What is wrong with the street sign? Well, if you are a normal person, then you're not going to think anything's wrong with the sign at all. And you're going to drive on and move on with your day. But we're scientists. We don't think of it that way. We're going to point out every little error, every little thing that we don't like, even if it's more OCD and if anything at this point, with examples like this. But this question also does bring up a pretty good point, much like the last one. Because in this case, uh, we're given two different measurements meant to represent the same thing, but both numbers are at totally different order of magnitudes. Meaning, this, uh, the miles calculation we're given is to one significant figure, while the kilometers are given to five. Meaning, this measurement they give us here is significantly more precise than the last one. Now, while admittedly that's not going to cause too many problems for someone just driving by, the thing is, if we're given a number this specific, that's not going to be very helpful to someone driving by. Now, granted, it's not exactly going to hurt them either, but that's but it's not really meaningful either. Especially since I read somewhere that fun fact: if you're given a measurement in kilometers that is this specific to this digit, then now we're at a level that's equivalent to the order of magnitude of a car's length. So yeah, that's a little bit more specific, a little too specific for something that anyone's actually going to care about. And overall, it's just inconsistent. So if you have OCD, and that's going to bother you. But either way, the point of the matter is, how could we fix this? How could we make this sign a little bit more representative of how a sign should look? Should we care about consistency and significant figures? Well, the obvious solution here is just to keep them the same way. Keep them the same number of significant figures in both cases. As in... Uh, we could just say 7.0 miles, uh, so that we, now we have it, um, a more reasonable uh, estimate for the number of miles, if we did have a specific calculation for that, with our kilometers being written as more as 11 km, so that now we have two significant figures in both the numbers. Or, if that it bothers you, well, it, which, it, well, it sh which it shouldn't, since this is pretty accurate either, but another way to write it that would still be acceptable, though it might not be everyone's cup of tea, would maybe just be to write simply 7 miles, and uh, have the, the, the same way we had in our last little example there. Because, while yeah, this one still has an extra significant figure as opposed to that one, you could also look at it outside of just significant figures, and you could also look at it in terms of percent uncertainty. Whereas in this case, we have a digit past the decimal point, but not a digit past the decimal point in the kilometers measurement. Where here, if we look at it in the same way, then now we know that both measurements are given to the same level of percent uncertainty. In truth, but it doesn't matter too much which one you use, at least not in this particular circumstance. But either, but either option is much more consistent than this mess up above. Now, that's kind of a simple question. And it kind of goes hand-in-hand in hand with the third, with a question number three, which asks about the fact that uh, it's incorrect to think that having more digits in the answer makes it more uh, accurate. And the question asks, why is this wrong? And the reason why that's wrong is because contrary to what someone may assume at first pass, the concept of precision and accuracy aren't even the same thing. So as I mentioned above in this question, having this many digits in the answer makes your answer a little bit too precise. And remember, precision refers to something totally different than accuracy. And they're related, but don't refer to the same thing. Precision refers to 
how specific your measurement is. It basically means how many significant figures are in your uh, in your answer, especially past the decimal point, because that means you're getting into very specific and very close up uh, territory. Whereas accuracy uh, refers to more of a, it's more of a debatable definition, but in general refers to the closeness of an answer to the true value in air quotes or to some accepted value that we're looking at. Some scientists will kind of scoff at the definition and say, well, all measurement, all measurement techniques are flawed. You can't call anything the true value because there will always be some tiny error that we can't see. And yeah, that's true to an extent. But, when pe but just know, just keep in mind that when people refer to accuracy in measurement, what they're referring to is the closeness to a supposed true value or some value that is being that has been agreed by scientists to be accepted. So having more uh, having more digits in the decimal or in the answer doesn't make it more accurate because all it's saying is how specific the measurement is, but it doesn't say anything about the accuracy. So for example, if we were using some really specific measurement tool and we got uh, some extremely specific decimal point, like 11.263, then it could be said that that measurement was very precise. But if we didn't realize it, but if that, but if that uh, measurement tool we were using was broken or something, or was calibrated incorrectly, and was giving us an inaccurate value, then the accuracy is off, no matter how precise the value it's giving us is. So I hope that helps you understand a bit why precision and accuracy aren't the same thing, because they can be looked at uh, differently. Uh, so that's going to be it for these two questions. Uh, hopefully I'll have the next video up soon, assuming this one goes up smoothly. See ya.